We've been through a lot together, you and I, me. And here, in the twilight of my months, I feel a bit of nostalgia can't go amiss. Let's look back on some of our favourite moments of mixed emoji. I'll never forget that Easter episode when I looked at the men with bunny ears partying. Next, it's men with bunny ears partying. Sometimes you have to drag one leg across the floor a bit, like when it's longer than your other one. Men just don't know how to put headbands on, huh? The fact that these guys look to be identical twins brings extra considerations to the ass groping we have going on here. This guy is like when you misread the homework assignment but decide to wing it on confidence anyway. Emoji one gets this. Who can forget the fruits episode when I looked at every available fruit emoji that exists for you to select from a comprehensive set of fruit emoji designs based on types of fruit? I believe the kiwi fruit is a type of fruit through tracing the etymology of its name. I'm glad I remembered to include this one in the episode because I've got a lot to say about it. Google wins. Then of course the cucumber. How about back when it all began in the dog episode? The fox face emoji. Oh look! The kind of ruffians that just make your day that much more magical when you see them. Or more murderous if you're a Tory. Emojipedia is this your hamster on a Sunday when it doesn't expect to go out or meet anyone. Samsung's is clearly dressing for a very posh do. Facebook's has that aged wisdom. And there's a corgi down here too. Emojidexis is a creepy taxidermy in the spare bedroom at your aunt's house that you have to remove from the room before you can sleep. I think that what I'm looking for in a fox face emoji is an emoji that looks like the face of a fox. Emoji one then. Hooray! I've grown a lot since then. Wait, sorry, no, I meant decayed. Oh, and there was that musical extravaganza episode that was obviously worth the effort of making. Drums are really kind of boring. I've got nothing else to say, Emojipedia. Looking through emojis based in Japanese culture never-endingly is a never-ending quest, but luckily I was there to tell you which software or device brand you should use to interpret each and every character. In the traditional moon viewing ceremony, the moon comes and views some stuff. Perhaps a shrine of golf balls and banana slugs you've set up for it. If it is pleased with your offerings, it will stop doing a horrible judging look at you for a fortnight. Emoji one. One of the strengths of this show is its relatable categories, like that time I looked at fighting. The left right facing, facing fist, fist can look more like a glove than a hand. I'm fisting myself right now just to see which one compares best. And it's the wrist based limpness on this face, but one that fits best. Oh, and there was my extensive episode on flags. My particular favourite was the flag of Mongolia. And what about my look through all the drink emojis? Next in my look through all the drink emoji is the glass of milk, the precursor to the terrible acne and indigestion emoji. The more you look at each of these, the more it looks like paint than milk. Was that grammar? Microsoft are drinking straight from the bottle. Pa, why not skip that and go straight to the cow's ungulates? Emojipedia offered the skimmedest milk possible, also known as water. Twitter has one of those yucky skins up on the rim. This is some weird perspective, and then there's Uncanny Valley Farms right here. I say Google. Then, clinking glasses, of course. Who can ever forget to include that in a video? It's refreshing to see glasses of all body shapes being represented here. And Facebook did it best. Let's finish with some dessert. Custard desserts. Well, these are shit. If you like this video, I'd better go make another. Bye. Oh, wait, my computer's right here.